Okay, so in this video, we'll be looking at how we can implement the bulk Excel export feature in filament based applications. So yeah, we have this student management system. And what we want to do is we want to let the user export the records to an Excel file. So how do we do that? And before working on the feature itself, let's look into the flow. Let's discuss the process that we'll be following before we actually start working on this. So yeah, here we have this bulk action as you can see whenever we select these items then we get this option where if we click on it then we have this delete selected bulk action so yeah this is also a type of bulk action which is provided by filament and this lets the users delete these records that are currently selected and yeah we want to add a new bulk action which will let the users export these records to an excel file so yeah that's the whole feature and let's start working on this so i'll open up another tab and uh, this is the package that we'll be using to import the files to the excel file which is called this mat website excel and yeah, you can go ahead and copy this command and install the package and i have already done that so yeah let me open that composer.json file and yeah, as you can see the package is installed already so yeah you can go ahead and install that and the next step that we'll be doing here is let's look into the documentation on the exports section if i unfold that and if i go ahead and look into this five minute quick start then yeah what we can do here is we can define a new file of type export and name it and we can even pass a model to this and then uh, we can go ahead and configure this class accordingly so yeah, we can define a collection and then uh, on the bulk action we can go ahead and return that with the name of the file and yeah we don't have to define a route in this case because we'll be making use of liveware and filament to export the file so yeah let's go ahead and define this export first and then we will configure it and later implement the bulk action to export the records to an excel file so yeah i'll just copy this and let's now go ahead and paste that command in our terminal i'll just paste it and let's make the necessary changes so the model that we want to pass in this case is going to be the student model since we want to export the students records and i'm going to name this as students export so let's go ahead and pass that and yeah let's go ahead and hit enter now okay i think this has double s so i'll just remove one and hit enter let's now navigate to that file and let's go ahead and make the necessary changes so by default we have this collection method configured in here and this is passing all the records of the student but what you want to do here is instead of uh, exporting all the records of the students we only want to export the records that are selected by the user that is in this case we want to export these records and yeah we will be passing these as a parameter and then we will be receiving that in this export file and then we will export those records but yeah we'll work on this later but first let's go ahead and work on a few stuff like uh, we will be mapping these data and then we will also add a heading to this so yeah let's go ahead and look into the documentation first so if we look into the exportables so if you want to export the records we need to implement this exportable trade so i'll just go ahead and copy that and use that in here let me go ahead and import that trade and let's look into some other stuff okay let's look into the mapping data page here we can map each of the records since we also want to display the class and section related data and if you don't map it then the class id and section id will be displayed so yeah, instead of that we want to map each of the records and then display the students class and section names so yeah let's go ahead and implement this map method and we also need to implement this width mapping interface so yeah make sure you implement that and let's go ahead and paste that method let's implement this width mapping interface first and then we will work on the map method and this is going to receive the individual student records and i'm going to name this as student 
and for now i'll just remove these records and make the necessary changes for one row and then we will copy this so yeah, let's pass the student record and the first data that we want to display here is going to be the name and i'll just copy this and pass additional data so we also want to display the email and we also want to display the class name and the section name so yeah, let's go ahead and pass that and while we are here let's also go ahead and implement the with heading interface because this will be used to pass the heading related data to the excel file so i'll just copy this method and make sure to implement this with heading interface otherwise it's not going to work okay let's go ahead and implement that with heading interface and let's implement that method here so the first column is going to be name and based on this method uh, we will be using github copilot to populate other columns as well okay the second row is going to be the email and the class and the section okay so that's done and we also have implemented this exportable trade which will let us download the excel file and what else do we have okay we also need to implement this on our filament end we have not done that yet so let's look into the documentation or we don't have to let's go ahead and directly implement this on our student resource when we click on the export bulk action then we want to call that student export file and then uh, we'll pass the records collection of records and yeah we haven't configured that yet in this class but we will be doing that once we finalize our filament flow so yeah, let's go ahead and define this bulk action and we can do that in here so let's define that custom bulk action and i'm going to name this as export i'm going to give this a label of export to excel let's also pass an icon to this the icon that i have in my clipboard so i'll just go ahead and paste that okay so this is the icon and what do you want to do when the user clicks on the export action so yeah we can pass an action to this and since you also want to grab the collection of records that the user has selected in here what we can do is we can pass a closure to this and inside that closure we can pass the collection of records and we can pass these records to our excel file so yeah let's go ahead and do that and let's import this collection class from the illuminate database eloquent collection and for the action let's look into the documentation because i forgot the syntax so if you look into this five minute quick start to export that file we can return this excel download with the name of the excel file and the name that we want to give to the excel file when it is downloaded so i'll just copy this and return that from here let's import this excel facade from the mad website excel facades excel namespace and the name of this export file is going to be students export let's go ahead and import that and the name of the excel file is going to be students.xlsx okay let's save that and okay we also need to pass the collection of records because currently we have not done that yet currently we are exporting all the records of the student so yeah we need to configure this accordingly so to do that what we can do is we can pass the collection of records that the user has selected currently that is these 10 records we can pass these records to our excel file and yeah let's go ahead and pass these records and we need to configure our excel file accordingly so that we can receive these records in our excel file so let's open up our excel file and let's define a constructor in here because we can receive the parameter in our constructor and here yeah, let's type hint this properly and i'm going to name this as records and let's import this collection from the illuminate database eloquent collection and yeah what we would typically do here is we would assign this records as records and yeah uh, we would normally do this if we were using older versions of PHP but since we are using PHP version 8 and later uh, we can use the constructor property promotion 
So we can directly pass the access modifier in here and we can now access this record in our methods. So instead of passing all the records, we can just reference the records. And since this collection expects a type of collection and eliminate database eloquent collection is also a type of eliminate support collection. So yeah, we are basically returning the records that are being passed from the front end. And then we are mapping each of the records by passing through this map method. And then we are also passing the heading related data in here. Okay, so this looks good. Let's go ahead and give this a try now. I'll just remove this unwanted import and then let's go ahead and give this a try. So I'll just reload it once and I'll select these records and click on bulk action. Then as you can see, we have this export to Excel bulk action. And whenever we click on this, then the whole flow is executed. So this action will be executed. We are also passing the collection of records. And then we are calling this Excel download with the Excel file that we want to export. And to that Excel file, we are passing the collection of records. And the name of the Excel file is going to be students.xlsx. And then in that students export Excel file, we are receiving those records in our constructor. And then uh, inside our collection, we are passing these records and we are mapping through each of the data and then uh, we are also passing the heading related data so yeah this flow looks good let's go ahead and give this a try now i'll click on this export to excel action and yeah, as you can see the file was downloaded i'll just open that up students.xlsx and let's look into the file now okay so this is the excel file that just got exported and as you can see we have the name the email the class and the section and if you have any other requirements uh, that you want to display in here then you can go ahead and do it like the created at date or any other columns that you want to display you can go ahead and do that so yeah these are the records that are selected and they got exported to an excel file so yeah i hope that this was helpful and that's it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one